Good morning. On behalf of uh, the board of directors, I'd like to welcome you to the 2018 summit. I got to tell you, I am very intimidated right now. We started this in 2011 in the conference room. We had 21 people. So uh, I'm going to try to overachieve for you here this morning. But uh, thank you for attending. There's uh, a few things that I'm going to talk about today. First is the uh, last spring, the board of directors uh, commissioned a study by IHS market to determine uh, OCP market share, to determine what our growth patterns and growth rates were geographically, and then also the challenges that we face so that we as a board could plan accordingly. Uh, so that's one. The second thing I'm going to talk to you about is the health of the community. I'd say it's pretty good from what I see up here. Uh, and then third, just a little bit about what's next, okay? But before I do that, I'd like to give out some thanks because things like this don't happen just overnight. First and foremost, the community. You guys continue to grow. Thank you for your support, high levels of engagement. You're the foundation of all of the success, quite frankly. So thank you very much. Also like to call out the project leads, incubation committee leads, and everybody that serves on a project team, right? Everyone has a day job here, and the amount of um, passion that th those people bring every day after hours and on weekends to get this stuff done for us is absolutely incredible and it's very much appreciated. Um, the other thing that I'd like to, a few other folks I'd like to thank, um, the foundation. So we've come a long way in the management of the foundation. Uh, I think we're doing a great job of scaling. We had troubles with that uh, early in the tenure of OCP, so Rocky and his team have done a great job. And then uh, i also like to thank the FN Tech. They continue to scale with us. They helped us with the events here, and of course the people on the foundation, very involved in event planning as well, so thank you very, very much for that. And then probably last uh, but not least, the founding board members. So this all started with a contribution from Facebook of a Freedom Server and a crowdsourced rack. Okay, that was what was in the room of 21. We were in a conference room. Okay, and so those founding board members, uh, of course, Facebook, uh, Rackspace, Intel, Goldman Sachs, and Andy Beckelsheim. Uh, we've since added Microsoft. They've been a great addition to the staff, but those founding members were the ones that um, had the passion and just kept, kept, kept the wheels rolling. So special thanks there. You guys, did I lose you there? Uh, and then also to Jason Taylor, he served as uh, chairman of the board for almost two years, and uh, I think I've got a, uh, a tough road to hoe behind him. All right, so well, let's get into it. So how's business? Before I go through these numbers, uh, let me give you a, a little bit of context. One is these numbers that I'm going to show you, we believe are very conservative. They do not include any of the board members' volume, so no Facebook, no Rackspace, no Intel numbers, and they don't include the secondary market. Okay, so there's been a lot of OCP gear that's changed hands on the secondary market when, when the hyperscale players do a tech refresh. And I, I've even heard walking around that there's some colo and maybe some managed hosting providers that are 100% OCP on secondary gear. Does anybody, can I get a show of hands? Does anybody still have a freedom server in a data center? Show of hands? Just a few of you, okay. Eight years worth of reliability, I think, is, is pretty good. Um, so I've given you the context there. So let's look at the numbers. So if I could get a drum roll. Somebody make some noise. All right. <laughs> we have done um, $1.2 billion in revenue in 2017 attributed to open compute hardware. Okay. And so the total market's about $137 billion. And OCP has accounted for $1.2 billion of that, growing at a very solid CAGR of 103%. This is the first time we've truly had an understanding of adoption and market marketplace penetration. We know that open compute has always had a ton of support, but we needed these metrics to determine right, how, how we were moving the needle in the industry. Over the next four years, we expect infrastructure equipment spend to reach $157 billion. And we expect open compute to approach 4% of that market, or about $6 billion. Okay? And again, that's con we believe those are very, very conservative. All right, so give yourselves a hand. Okay, so what's in that pie slice that I, that I showed you? 
If you look at the, this, this particular graph, it shows the customer's segments. Uh, from a service provider perspective, telco, hyperscaling, and then enterprise. Those green bars are telco. So telco is growing at a rate of about 14x. So you can see that it takes, a, in the, over the next four years, it takes over a lion's share of the OCP gear. In 2017, many telcos uh, created uh, proof of concepts in their data centers. The first half of 2018, I know two mega players, hyperscale telcos that are actually um, moving into uh, produ the production mode, and we expect in the second half of 2018 for those numbers to ramp significantly. So if we look at the regional forecast for OCP uh, spend or consumption, uh, steady growth for all. That's the, that's the, that should be the main takeaway from these last two slides. Growing, again, at that 103% at that, uh, uh, CAGR. This slide, you see the, the light blue is the Americas. So when the Americas started an OCP, we were very uh, uh, heavily driven by the hyperscale players. Um, that continues, but we've also seen uh, growth uh, from a geographic uh, global perspective as well. So the uh, U.S. is growing at a 40, per, excuse me, the Americas is growing at a 47% CAGR. EMEA is growing at a 70% CAGR. And then you've got APAC growing at 103% CAGR, okay? Uh, in Europe, uh, most, of that all, most of that growth is coming from telcos. And in APAC, it, it's a mix of hyperscale players and telcos. So very healthy regional forecast. Okay, all these, all, uh, I've got only given you the high level macro information. We're gonna have a, a deep dive with IHS market at uh, 1 p.m. today. So if you'd like to learn more, uh, that'll be an hour session. It'll be about half an hour of data and a half an hour of Q&A. Okay, so how's our community doing? Uh, the board uses three metrics. One is adoption, which we've just talked about. The other is membership. And then the, the last one is contribution. From a membership perspective, uh, we continue to grow. The thing that's uh, relevant and impactful here is the high-end tiers are actually growing the fastest. And why that's really, really important to the health of OCP is because as those tiers go up, certainly they contribute more um, financial dollars, but most importantly, they contribute more engineering support, more intellectual property, and then they support uh, the uh, foundation, right, with, with business leads to, uh, uh, to our service provider network and provide technical support where necessary. So thank you guys very much for that. Uh, the next slide is a list of people that have joined, companies that have joined as Platinum members or have upgraded their membership since 2016. And the reason that the upgrades are important is because obviously they see the value of OCP. They feel the momentum. They're obviously seeing it in the bottom line of their business. And so these are all right world-class companies, that, logos that we continue to add, and we appreciate their support. Okay, uh, community health. Let's talk about that for a minute, Con uh, contributions. Uh, accepted contributions, which are specifications, not financial contributions, but specifications, uh, have, been, have remained consistent uh, year over year for the last two years. Uh, but what we've seen is we've added almost 100 or over 100 SKUs or, that are orderable on the marketplace. So that's that gray bar. So that's the significant work that was done in 2017 to, to raise the bar uh, and make OCP products available for adoption. Okay, so what's next? A couple things. Our customers and, and constituents are asking us to go up the technology stack. So that's firmware, software, and system integration. Right, having hardware is great, but now they're asking to, to make it work in all the different ecosystems across all the different uh, industries. Now that's ex extremely tall order for us to achieve. And so some of the things that we're doing is we are creating uh, a um, center of excellence at the foundation. You notice we added Rajiv uh, to, the, to the team. Uh, we're also partnering with the other open software forums to leverage best practices, find out how we can um, uh, leverage communities to drive faster development. We're also creating platforms to share and fix bugs. And uh, there's also obviously a lot of security concerns that when we're dealing with embedded software, we need to begin with that in mind. The other thing that we've been doing is our labs have typically been used for hardware testing. 
not for integration. So we're going to retrofit some of those labs so we can actually do uh, testing up and down the stack uh, from a system engineering or system integration perspective. From an adoption uh, perspective, uh, we've already shared a lot of great news. Um, we've adjusted the membership structure, right, where people actually get credit for contribution of specifications and IP as well. Uh, we're also expanding our geographic footprint based on those geographic uh, growth numbers that I shared with you earlier. Uh, we're evaluating a physical presence in some of the other regions, uh, again, in support of the community and the companies that are buying OCP branded gear. And then last but not least, we've established a formal partnership program, and you'll, you'll see us doing more of this. Uh, as a board, we've actually um, not wanted to do this previously because we didn't want to spread ourselves too thin. We wanted to stay focused on our mission and purpose. And now that we've, uh, I think we've, uh, we've gotten to the dance from a hardware perspective, now we're, we, we, we're gonna, you're going to see more partnerships, and you're going to see us, again, moving up that technology stack. Uh, to drive more innovation across tech. Uh, the, this particular project that we've got going on with uh, the Telecom Info project is, uh, is an edge, uh, edge we're, we're creating the hardware for a uh, network edge device and they are creating the software. So this is truly uh, the marriage of two really, really great uh, initiatives that I think will continue to drive tremendous value across this industry and certainly uh, through telco. All right, so mark your calendars. I've got a few things to announce. We're, we've got a, a regional summit in Amsterdam on October 1st and 2nd, so later this year. And then again, we're back in San Jose next year, March 14th and 15th, and we'd like to, to see you guys here. We might need a bigger venue uh, if this continues to grow. So please mark your calendars for that. So in summary, business looks really good. I think we've been, we should be really proud of the things that we've accomplished as a team. Again, revenue for last year, $1.2 billion, growing to $6 billion uh, in 2021, about a 60% CAGR, and then we only have penetrated 5% of the market over the next three or four years. So we have got a long way to go, or we've got a ton of opportunity, and thank you guys very much for being a part of it. So who did this? Look around. We did it. Let's give ourselves one final round of applause and then I'll introduce Kushagra.